Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm super, super excited because I finally received the link to download the new version of Axure RP10 beta version. So I'm super excited and let's go straight to the video to see what are the new changes of uh, Axure and what are the new feature of Axure RP10. That's it, let's get started. So let's see the first, first, first difference between uh, Axure RP9 and Axure 10. So first of all, let's go here. Oh, you see the uh, icon changes, of course, indeed. Uh, and it's a sort of, uh, you know, wireframed uh, uh, icon that is uh, quite cool, actually. Yeah, that's, that's cool. And, and let's go to the new file, new file. Voila! As you can see, so the interface uh, changed a bit, so they uh, made some uh, new improvement on the UI. It's really quite, quite, quite minimal. And that's, that's actually cool. They uh, added some, uh, some icons uh, here and there and uh, on the interface. That, that's cool. So uh, let's dive into the new uh, layout of Axure. So what they uh, added as um, toolbar action are this. Uh, so basically the possibility to hide directly our uh, panels from the toolbar. So that's actually really cool. But, but the most important thing I would say are these features, these buttons. Yes, why? Because as you can see here, we have a quick link to the most common forms elements, so form a widget, and to uh, the most common, uh, actually all of them, dynamic widgets. So let's see. For example, if I click on a text field, uh, I can drag and, and, and release, and this is actually a text field. I can do the, the same with the drop list, for example, and I can drag uh, and create drop list. You know, it's really, really, more uh, straightforward uh, process and it's actually uh, amazing. This uh, works exactly as before. So double click and you can add all the elements that you want in the drop down, etc., etc. And you can do everything from here. So it's uh, it's quite a cool feature. I think it's uh, it's really good. Other thing that, he, that they added is exactly the same thing for the dynamic as we said, and we can drag and drop dynamic panels. Okay, inside. You see, this is actually the new the new way of showing the dynamic panel. But but I will not show you today how it works and what are the new feature of the dynamic panels. So stay tuned for the next video. So next um, element, next widget is the repeater, and this is amazing. It's amazing because I can actually drag and drop a repeater. You see here, it's amazing, a repeater and voila, you drop it and the content is already there. So you just have to change the content. It's, it's mind blowing, really. So let's see this. That's, this is another really cool feature. Uh, we have all the others, the hotspot, uh, uh, the snapshot and the inline frame are exactly the same. Let's uh, move to uh, the libraries. As you can see here, what they added uh, um, that was not there before is the link button. That's quite good. Okay. And, and they splitted the repeater because now we have, we have the repeater table as we saw before, exactly like before. This is our repeater table, but they added what? A repeater card. And yes, this is quite uh, common, um, I would say, components that uh, we always uh, see everywhere. So it's good that they added directly to the, to the library. It's quite cool. Other thing, they moved, I don't know why, but probably, I have no idea. But anyway, uh, the snapshot that was before in the markup, 
and 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 let's see one thing the only feature that i show you today is is related to the groups so let's see it let's say that i want to create a post for example with uh, an image uh, and heading and a paragraph uh, and whatever uh, a link button right okay actually i copy these elements and i group them and create a new group next to it okay now the new features oh yeah now if you double click on one element as you can see here in the style pane we have finally the resizing constraints yes like figma like uh, sketch exactly is exactly the same thing so if you click for example on image with we can say for example that we want a fixed uh, height so or for this we want that this uh, for example should be a locked uh, i don't know uh, left and top for example it means that the distance between these elements and this one will be always the same uh, we can say that for example uh, uh, this uh, could have i don't know a uh, fix uh, width i don't know just just throwing away uh, locked to the left and this button should be for example locked to the left and the button this means that if I drag it, you see, amazing, amazing. And this is the difference between this and this, you see, completely different. And also this video is finished. I hope you enjoyed it and that this new feature are really, really cool. So as usual, I ask you to subscribe to the channel, put a like, a comment and activate the bell and see you in the next video. Bye.